Okay, Greg, we're in your shop. Yeah. You're, you're noted for something or another here in Central Jersey, in New Brunswick. You're on George Street. But uh, you're noted for something. First of all, what, what is this shop? What are you? I see a lot of cameras around here. What's going uh, okay, on? well, um, uh, this is George Street Camera. Mm -hmm. This is my camera store. I've had it for uh, 41 years, actually, in the same location. Mm -hmm. um, so it puts me actually the oldest merchant in downtown New Brunswick at this point. Really? Yep. So I feel like last man standing. And in my industry, I really feel like last man standing. There's only about 3% of us left in uh, camera stores. Wow. But we actually still develop uh, uh, film. So we do the old film as well as we print digital. And uh, so we're trying to be the classics. Mm. But as a businessman, as the oldest businessman well, on the strip here, yeah. what you you're, you have a claim to fame. What's, yeah. tell, what it, tell us what it is. Well, claim to fame, well, um, I gave uh, this is, there's many stories about uh, New Brunswick and, and history because we've got about 300 years of it. And one of the, uh, one of the great stories is, uh, and unsung stories, is John Nielsen, Colonel John Nielsen during the Revolutionary Party. Uh, his family was from Belfast. He was first generation born here. And he raised a militia of 150 men here in New Brunswick. That's during uh, the Revolutionary War yes, time? for the independence uh, in 1774-1775 okay. in in period um, uh, to, uh, for our freedom to be independent from England. Uh, so he raised a militia. And when the decoration was, uh, was brought out, a few days later, July 9th, a rider came in from Philadelphia looking for, for him. They found him in the Whitehall Tavern having a drink. And, uh, Who they, wasn't drinking back then? Exactly. <laughs> which is actually down on Albany and named after him Albany and Nielsen Street. And so he, he read the document. He called everybody to the corner and he carried out a tavern table. And he was 31 years old at the time, and he read the decoration for the third time in the nation. And because oh, wait, of that, wait, wait. when you say the third time in the nation, I'm, I'm not. Yes. What does that mean exactly? The first, third time that it was ever read to people. Ah. Right. Okay. Do you know the other two times before that? Uh, the uh, the the first, of course, was Philly, mm -hmm. where where incepted, and the other one, I believe, was in Trenton. Okay. And then came to here. Oh, okay. And they were making their way all around. There were several, they were called Dumas, or Dumas copies. They made a few copies so they could get them all that? the way. D-U-M-A-S, I think. Mm -hmm. Dumas, I think that's how it's pronounced. Oh, like, like the name, like Dumas, like yeah, they the had, French. Yeah, they had, they had copies mm -hmm. okay. uh, from the original one so they could get all the way up to New England. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so he read it on the corner, carrying out a tavern table, standing on it, and the English came because of that a month later and burned down his house, took over his headquarters, no, burned down his church and took off, took his house for headquarters. Mm -hmm. He, after that, became raiding different armies and uh, worked as quartermaster general as well as brigadier general mm -hmm. uh, for Washington. Uh, so, and as after the war was over, he was really kind of a pillar of the community. He built the first bridge across the Raritan River over towards Highland Park. Mm -hmm. uh, first volunteer fire department sat on Queens College and rebuilt the community. So, well, I, Queens College is now what's that? Rutgers. What's that? Queens College is now Rutgers? Yes, okay. yes, correct. Okay. And uh, so, um, so what I did is I created an organization called New Brunswick Public Sculptures. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, when, when, when did, what year was this? It was about ten years ago. Okay. And so our first project was to do a statue of him reading the Declaration of Independence. Mm -hmm. So it took me nine years to do it, mm -hmm. uh, two years to find the artist. It was about a hundred and seventy thousand dollars. And so we have a bronze statue of him on, in Monument Square of him reading the Declaration of Independence. And uh, my organization, New Brunswick Public Sculptures, gave it a gift to the city of New Brunswick. Mm. And so uh, it's very important. It's the only statue in America of the reading of the Declaration of Independence. Mm -hmm. So that's the story. The second one coming up I'm working on now, I'm commissioned by the city of New Brunswick, is Paul Robeson. Ah. And we just named uh, Commercial Avenue, which is in New Brunswick, to Paul Robeson Avenue. Mm -hmm. Boulevard, sorry, Boulevard. And if you follow it down a few blocks, you'll find Paul Robeson School and a park called Feaster Park, mm -hmm. which is right next to it. And uh, I'm working on a uh, design now, a uh, life-size statue of Paul Robeson. Mm -hmm. So hopefully that will be up in the next coming years. Wow. Well, thank you so much for this for this interesting history. Now, now Greg, tell us your whole name. Your, your um, name is Greg Ritter. 
Okay. All right. Thank you for your work. Oh, you bet. My pleasure. Glad to be here.